It's time for Mavs News with DJ Snow, Donovan Graves, Hunter Breyer, and Calder Hughes. And now, here is DJ Snow. Welcome to Mavs News. It's homecoming week. Here are the dress-up days for the week. Monday is Texas Day. Dress up like a cowboy or a city boy. Tuesday will be Louisiana Day. Dress up in Mardi Gras attire or as the people of Duck Dynasty. Wednesday will be Florida Day. Dress up for the beach or dress as your favorite Disney character. Thursday will be South Dakota Day. Dress like an American or just express yourself, but it needs to be in school-appropriate attire. Friday will be North Colorado Day. Dress in red, white, and blue and show off the school spirit. Every day during lunch, prizes will be presented in the gym to the best dressed. And now, here is Donovan Graves with the People of Norwood. This week on People of Norwood, we finish up our interviews with the freshman class. This week, we meet Caitlin Spohr and Riley Porter. One word to describe me is bookish because I am always reading. My greatest weakness is probably books. My greatest accomplishment is probably figuring out what I want to do with my life in the future. Um, Egyptology, the study of ancient Egypt. What makes me happy is hanging out with my friends and reading. Um, I would like to see more people read. Most people that I know don't really find reading that fun, so they just don't do it. It takes you away from problems in the real world. My dream job is an Egyptologist. In five years, I see myself at the University of Oxford studying Egyptology. I would describe myself as energetic because I always uh, just have a bunch of energy. My greatest weakness is school with grades. I have to like keep on my homework or else I get behind. Uh, my greatest accomplishment is probably this quarter having almost all A's. Uh, my friends make me happy. My parents, uh, activities like hunting, fishing, uh, riding four-wheelers. The changes I'd like to see in the world are the gun control laws and how we should just uh, get over them. And if they're there, they're there. But if they're not, it's fine. After high school, I am planning to go to the Marines or the Navy. This week's blue ticket winners are, for kindergarten through second grade, Jared Calvillo and Violet Sievers. For third through fifth grade, Lillian Jacobs and Grace Harris. This week's Mav Up card winners are Sammy Keaton and Sammy Reed. Pick up your prizes in the office. Here are this week's activities. Monday, there will be dinner for students provided by the moms. After dinner, there will be a mystery game around 6.30. Also, Parks and Recs will be hosting open gym at 6 o'clock p.m. in the new APR for anyone interested in pickleball. Tuesday, there will be ACT math prep from 8.50 to 9.50 in the Mav Corral. The moms will once again be serving dinner before He-Man Volleyball and Powder Puff Football. Powder Puff will begin around 6.30 to 7.30 and He-Man will go from 7.45 to 9. Wednesday, for grades 6 through 12, there will be a Healthy Kids Survey at 8.50. Student Council will be hosting a barbecue followed by the bonfire. Students are asked to bring food to contribute to the barbecue. Also, Parks and Recs will be hosting pick a wall at 6 o'clock p.m. in the APR. Thursday, seniors will have senior seminar at 12.20 p.m. in the math corral. Friday is a busy day. The homecoming pep assembly will start at 12.45 and go till 2. The parade will be from 2.15 to 3. Saturday is the homecoming dance. Any high school student that plans to bring an out-of-town guest must have a completed out-of-town guest approval form to Ms. Gibner by Thursday, September 28th. Students, check with the principals if you have any concerns that your attire may not follow the dress code. There will also be mandatory alcohol testing for all guests at the door. Doors open at 8 and close at 9. No students will be admitted after 9 o'clock. And for any student that leaves the dance, you may not return. And now, here's Hunter Breyer with the sports report. Monday's JV football game has been canceled. Sorry, men. Tuesday, middle school volleyball travels to Nucla for a 4 o'clock game. 
Thursday, the high school girls play their homecoming volleyball game against the Lores. JV game starts at 4 o'clock with varsity at 5.30. Friday, the high school boys' homecoming football game begins at 7 o'clock. Homecoming royalty will be crowned during halftime. So come on out this week and let your Maverick flag fly. I'm Hunter Breyer, and that's the Sport Report. Here's this week's lunch menu. Monday, Tuscan turkey soup and homemade herb rolls. Tuesday, chicken parmesan sandwich. Wednesday, pork carnitas and homemade beans. Thursday, homemade chicken pot pie. Friday, breakfast for lunch, biscuits and gravy and eggs. With every meal, there is always salad bar, fruit, and milk. And finally, here's Calder Hughes with Calder's Corner. Welcome back to Calder's Corner, y'all. It's homecoming week. But before you have fun, be sure to take these precautions. If you have a choice to eat steak or fish, eat lasagna. You may become violently ill within the next half hour, especially if you recently ate fish. It starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat. As the virus penetrates the red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy and begins to experience an itchy rash. And then the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the ine inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence. Until finally, the poor son of a gun is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of junk. I'm Calder Hughes, and thank you for coming on time to your appointment at Calder's Corner. I just want to tell you all, good luck. We're all counting on you. And that's the news for the week of September 25th. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.